All right, what's going on, folks? The weather is beautiful outside. It's actually kind of hot, but anyways, we're here at the property today, and we're going to be working on a trail in the back. All right, there she is. That's the BX23XS. I apologize. Don't mind our dirty. We were playing in the pond earlier, but let's have a look at this road that we're going to be fixing. So right now, it is a complete disaster. What happened was the property drains from the back to the front. You'll see a ditch over there. No ditching here. We put a tile ditch across the side of the property because, again, this was all swamp and try to collect some of that water that was coming back. What happened was I neglected to, or I didn't see this, but we had a wet season. And right through here and right through there is where a lot of the water is rolling off this property. And when I say a lot of water, I mean a lot of water. This turns into a, a flowing river almost. So what I did was to alleviate some of the, the water overflowing because it was overflowing over here, ruining all that. I cut a ditch and then made a little ditch over here. Well, then what happened was this whole thing filled up with water and it literally washed out this whole section of road. Uh, instead of just having some water run across over here, this whole thing was gone. Literally, it was quite gone. It was gone all the way down to the this wood, a good six, eight, maybe 12 inches down and it just created a nasty mess. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. We have a culvert pipe, a four inch culvert pipe. It's not really a culvert pipe, a four inch corrugated pipe here that runs to that side. This eventually will go all the way back to our sugar shack, which is in another video, or will be in another video. And that is it. So we're just going to smooth this out, clean this up and get this road worthy of driving. All right, so we got this back part done, or the first part of the road somewhat done. Uh, just enough that I could drive over it one decent time. This tractor's pretty heavy. But this is done with knock down some of the hills on both sides. We're gonna do some final grading, uh, mainly on the trail. There's not really anywhere I can grab dirt from, maybe other than this little pile, uh, which is not gonna be enough to do the road, so. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. And uh, we're gonna move over here to this side. This is one where one of the, the main areas that was being washed out is at uh, right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is this stuff's pretty soft. Um, it's actually topsoil. What I'm looking for is clay, but I'm gonna have to come in here, clean this up a little bit just by hand, picks up some of this wood and see if I can't get a couple scrapes off this side to get enough dirt to kind of push it over here. This is again, like a heavy topsoil area. So um, it's gonna be kind of hard to level out.
right, change to the game plan. Was gonna cut a ditch around this tree and that would come into a ditch that's running this way. However, <laughs> there is a huge root, and I mean, it's the main root system for this, this tree that's right here, this oak. So uh, I think what we're going to do is not go down here, but actually just cut a trail or a ditch through here. Um, so again, easiest route. So I think I've got to try to figure out how to get over here. <laughs> and um, I don't know, maybe we'll try to walk across this ditch. I might take some wood and lay it in here for right now and actually use it for what this wood was uh, intended for. So. That is it for this project. We have to let the road settle for probably about a week or two, at least a week, and we'll come back and we'll, we'll regrade everything and then we'll throw another layer of clay soil on top and then we'll let it sit again. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any new videos that we publish.